30th anniversary. Um, go to dragstrip66.com, I think. It's wonderful. It's such a great history here in Los Angeles. Paul V. and Mr. Dan, who runs the theater at Cavern Club at Casita del Campo that does all the shows there, they used to do this monthly drag event called Drag Strip 66. Um, and it's their 30th anniversary tonight. They haven't been doing it for many years, and they decided to come back and do it anniversary show. It's me and Alaska and Jackie Beat and Sherry Vine and um, uh, Quesadilla. Yeah, lots of cool queens on the bill. So it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Mm. My goodness. So yeah, that's why I'm performing. You can see it in my stories. And also, go... Um, that I'm the 13th secret queen on All Stars 8. I'm going to pop out of a box. How do you like that? Um, yes, go to the Obsessed YouTube page. Uh, you can go to their Instagram account and click on their YouTube page because Sandy's going to be bringing you some surprises um, in the upcoming weeks. So you don't want to miss that. Or maybe you do want to miss it, but I wouldn't recommend it. Well, thank you, Gigi. Can you tease the special announcement that's coming out on the 24th? Well, I am a tease, but I can't tease that. I'm sorry. When are you coming back to Milwaukee? I have no idea, but I hope to come back to Milwaukee, Minnesota very soon. I really do. The Browns has some things brewing, so stay tuned for that. I just got off the phone with Tamara, and she's, you know Tamara, she's always got something on the back burner, just re getting ready to, to boil over. Well, thank you. Oh, well, look, it's Miss Layla McQueen. We just did a gig last night together at the precinct at Meatball's Fat Slut. And I can confirm that Meatball and Layla are sluts, honey. They are sluts, sluts, sluts. How are your directional abilities doing? Do you know where they are now? I have no idea. I do know that I'm in my home. Um, Marilyn, you know, always leads the way. But uh, yeah, normally I have no idea. I thought I was in Las Vegas last night. What should you name your firstborn? Well, name her Kelly, of course. Why wouldn't you? After me. Are you really having a firstborn? Congratulations, I guess. That seems like a lot of work. Kelly Mantle Jazz Album, maybe. Oh, you know it, some big band. Maybe I can get in with Tony Bennett, just like Gaga did. Mm. Minnesota, yes, are we in Minnesota? Is that where we are? Oh, Charlene Unger, how are you gorgeous? Everyone go check out Charlene Unger, she's hilarious. She's still alive and breathing in Chicago, Illinois, bringing comedy gold. Charlene, I'm doing Drag Strip 66 tonight. Can you believe it? After all these years. Hello, Portland. How do you feel about being the icon that you are? Well, I'm a very humble person. I would never, never describe myself as an icon. I'm just an everyday girl next door. <laughs> You know, if you're living in the trailer park. Kelly Mantle EDM jazz album. Ooh, I like that even better. Coming to Austin many times soon. Well, we were just in Austin. We played Austin City Limits there with Trixie and Katia. Thoughts on versatile bottoms. Well, I don't know. I don't have any thoughts on versatile bottoms. Um, if I had to think about some thoughts on versatile bottoms, it seems like a lot of work. I mean, they're having to bottom and top and everything in between. I'm more of a pillow princess. I just like to lay there, you know, and look pretty. Just as long as, you know, he doesn't touch me from the neck up. Um, you think you're in Las Vegas too? Well, I do love Vegas. We should all go. Barbara Thunderbuns, what a great name, isn't that? Anything you miss about the T&K tour? Well, yes, I miss traveling, I miss the girls. I miss Sandy. I miss all kinds of things. Hello, New Zealand. Granny T. Hooker. Mommy, mom, mom. Oh, yes. 
Saw you in Charlotte. Oh, that's so cool. I love Charlotte. That's where we ended the tour. Please come back. Well, I will. Oh, my pussy's on fire. Actually, I'm not wearing any pants right now. Did you know that? I just thought I should let you know I'm not wearing any pants. I hope this phone isn't <laughs> getting my crotch because I'm also sitting with my legs wide open. Oh, that's so much more comfortable, but I can't see the screen from here. You thought my fan was a microphone. Well, I do usually always carry a microphone or a fan around, you know. Or a drink. Mmm. Yes. What else do we have? You want to live in the trailer park? Well, yes, I love trailer parks. I think they're wonderful. How did you find New Zealand when you were here? Well, I found it. Um, barely on the map. But I did love it. It was extraordinary. It was absolutely beautiful. It's like a tropical rainforest out in the middle of the ocean. Isn't that wonderful? Should you get a lobotomy? Yes, you should. I've had several, and I found that it works wonders for me. Keeps you forever young, you know, because you don't have to think about anything, really. Um, oh, yes, I want to do the pod again. We should do that. Someone was just uh, texting about that the other day. Favorite food you ate on the world tour? Mm, that's a good question, because I usually don't eat. But what was my favorite food on the world tour? Um, you know, I have to say we had a really great Thanksgiving feast at this wonderful restaurant uh, in somewhere in England. And I can't remember where we were, but it was really good. It was really good. It was Jiggly Caliente. What are you doing? You slut. Where are we now? Favorite color to wear? Black. My whole entire wardrobe is black. This is very rare to see me in anything that's not black. But I, denim like blue is like my second favorite. Or red. I do like a good red gown, you know. Giving Taylor Swift's mom? <laughs> Let's keep the mom part out. Maybe I'm like her drunk aunt. How about that? I'm not that old, y'all. Oh my God, do I look that old? <laughs> my goodness. Will we see you on Very Delta? Uh, well, it's being talked about. I can't wait. I love Delta and I love her, her talk show. I mean, she was born for this, right? I mean, it's, it's perfect. Um, there's two unknown girls. I know, right? Thoughts on the beef between Tony Monster and Fresno Chick? I don't even know who those people are. Who's Tony Monster and Fresno Chick? I don't know. What's the beef? Tell me all about it. Hello, sexy. Oh, well, hello. I like anyone who calls me sexy. Accidentally just hit your head. One step closer to the lobotomy. Yes, it is. It works out well. To tell Patricia to put on the channel. Right? I like that. I've never called her Patricia before. Uh-oh, I just did something and something came up and I don't know what happened. Um, let's see. You need to meet me before you die. Well, I hope so. Don't die anytime soon. Um, you know what? I won't be at DragCon. I'm gonna be shooting something that weekend, um, but I was planning on going, but I'm not gonna get to make it. Who am I trying to make straight? I would never. I've never done that before. Mm -mm. Let's see. Please come to Boston. We were just in Boston like twice on the tour. Katya's hometown, isn't it? Um, new music is going to be coming, I promise. I know I say that all the time, but I was just in the most wonderful uh, recording studio the other day, and there was a piano in there. And um, the engineer and I were talking, and come to find out Tori Amos had recorded in there and played on that piano. So it was so cool to play on it and, you know, and do that thing. Um... 
Let's see, who will you be shooting the week of DragCon? Anyone we know? Yes, I'm going to be shooting a lot of people. I'm going to completely assassinate many, many people. Oh, I better not say that. World of Wonder will send the FBI to my door and think I'm going to blow up DragCon. No, I'm not shooting anyone at DragCon. Did you all see the interview, Joseph's interview with Tyra, or uh, uh, with King Tyra? It was really good. It was a really good interview. I enjoyed it. Um, you make so very homosexual. <laughs> well, that's good to know. I'm glad to know that I make a good homosexual. Isn't that wonderful? A gay, bisexual, transgender, lesbian. Um, yes, I'm missing the tour. Kelly, come to Toronto. Um, oh, did you not get to go to precinct? It was so much fun. It really was. Uh, hello, happy birthday, Zoe. Silver or gold? That's, you know what? I love mixing the two. Um, I'm having a dress constructed that's kind of mixing the two. I love mixing silver and gold because you're not supposed to, so you know. Uh, do you listen to the Nympho Awards? What is it, Nympho Wars? No, I don't. What's that? Are they like necrophiliacs? Um, lesbians for Kelly, hell yes. I'm an honorary lesbian, honey. I've dipped in the lady pond a time or two, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, I loved the Oakland show. It was really, really good. It really, really was. Well, everyone, you are so wonderful. Here we are. I just wanted to jump on and say hello and got ready and I had to do a self-tape audition and then I thought I'd just pop on and say hi and happy Friday night here in the big city of Hollywood, California. Of course, I'll come back to Australia. Absolutely. Um... What is this here? What does that mean? What is that little button? Oh, I don't know what just happened. I think I made everything just go crazy. Uh-oh, sorry. I think I just made everything go crazy. All right, I'm going to go finish getting ready and then go to this wonderful gig and perform my little heart out for all the audience members and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and stay tuned for more things coming up. Go subscribe to the Obsessed YouTube page to keep posted. Thank you. You have a lovely night too. Love y'all.